Okay. What I was saying was, it's it's nice to just come in like relax, let your feet be on the ground, feel grounded, just to be in the present moment, you know? Let's try this. Whatever you're doing right now, whether you're in the mall, whether you're just leaving church, wherever you are, just take three deep breaths with me in and out and Whatever's on your mind right now, I want you to just, just release it. Inhale. Exhale. Any doubts, any fear, release them. Inhale. Release. Inhale. Exhale. Yeah. Doesn't that feel good? You know, I'm on my run today. Uh, run about four and a half miles with uh, Pablo. Pablo right there, my dog. And I got to thinking. Got to thinking about how how fast this world moves. And how fast uh, consumerism forces you to kind of keep up, in a sense. I'm not shaming. I'm not here to talk about anything political. Uh, I'm just... I'm just acknowledging that, and it's it's things we hear all the time, you know, about owning less and, you know, owning less and not letting your possessions own you, but, you know, I wouldn't just say I'm a minimalist, just I try not to just categorize myself or put myself in a box, but I would say for the past year, I've been adopting this lifestyle change of owning less you know it kind of started back in college where living in a dorm room you know that's only so many things you could you know fit inside so I had to let go of a lot of things that no longer serve me and I think just minimalism as an idea to me is not about you know Oh, I own 12 items or I own 100 items. I don't think it's, to me at least, it's not about how many items you own, but it's about those items having value and meaning. You know, right now I'm at a stage where, you know, like each month if I purchase something new, you know, I really have an intention on it. It's not, you know, it's something that I consciously, it's how I consciously move. I try to logistically think, how can this help me? Am I going to use it within the next six months? What type of purpose or value does it have to my life? Even when I'm shopping with clothes or shoes, you know, I just bought a pair of shoes about two weeks ago. But before that, it was about, about seven months. It's just because I don't, 
again, I try to think about how long these items will last. And so when I do make purchases, I try to get quality purchases. But I just wanted to talk about just owning less. You know, in this world of consumerism, we we are forced to keep up. If you think about, you know, I just take example just because it's it's so prevalent. Think about like iPhones, you know, and each year, or Samsung as well, Androids, each year they're coming out a 13, 13 Pro Max, 13 Pro this, this is like each year they're coming out with two to three different phones. You know, I would, I'd always try to keep up with the latest, whether it's shoes, uh, whether it's Yeezys or just different fashion brands, I would always try to keep up and let me get the next best thing. Let me get the next best because I wanted to look a certain way or to appear that I had money or whatever it is, a prestige. But, you know, those items start to own you. Just just think about it for a second, you know. For the last year, I have been living in gratitude because I have been able to travel wherever, however I please. And I say that humbly because, you know, part of part of the reason I'm able to do that is even before I moved to Texas, my last job um, wasn't paying me that great. I'm going to be honest. But, you know, my strategy was I said in December of. I think it was it was October. It was October of 2020. I told myself that 2021, despite, you know, COVID or anything else, I was going to travel to a new city, a new place every single month. And I achieved that. Um, like I went to Denver four times. Uh, and this is in the span from October 2020 uh, to, I say, December of 2021. Or, yeah, so about a year or so. Um, I went to Denver uh, four times. I went to Chicago. I went to California twice. I went to New York twice. I went to New Orleans. I went to uh, Dallas a couple times. I went to Hot Springs, Arkansas. I went to Florida and I think that was it. Um, yeah yeah i think that was it um but i went everywhere i wanted to go you know every type of concert venue wherever i wanted to go i did and why it was because i didn't spend my money on trying to keep up with the joneses you know i was actually had a plan like okay this month i'm flying here like i probably took about 20 25 flights just because i was all about wanting to travel and wanting to you know explore more of God's land, you know, and I'm not trying to go off topic. I'm just saying, I think with having so many possessions, when you're always trying to keep up with the Joneses, you're always trying to buy the next latest and greatest. Sometimes it can be hard to, it can be hard to travel. It can be hard to do these other things. You know, when you own less, you actually can pick up and move. You know, that's such the great thing about it is about, you know, owning less is that you'll start to see everything I own can fit inside of my truck. It's no lie. Uh, when I moved to Texas, I think I sold like one thing, but like a pair of shoes. Other than that, everything fit in my truck. Not even in my bed of my truck, inside of my truck. Um, because I'm all about not just being sustainable, but I'm also about, you know, having that much less of a carbon footprint and again, just owning less. You know, sometimes it can be hard because we hold we hold sentimental value to certain things, especially if, you know, whether it was our parents or you know our friends or whatever gave us something. And, you know, we hold on to it and, you know, we don't want to let it go. And I understand that. I really do. But I think you have to just look at those things and understand that, you know, you hold on to them for a certain amount of time and. Just ask yourself, what what purpose does this hold going forward in my life? For me, if I haven't used something, I know others like to say six months, but if I haven't used something in three months, I kind of will start to question and I might just either toss it 
donate it or sell it either way and most of the times I donate it uh, rarely do I sell it just most times I donate it because I'm not just trying to make a quick buck you know it's just nice but I'm just trying to donate to somebody else who doesn't have it um, I just wanted to talk about that and just tell you my experience and how I've been able to travel and you know it, it's it's really freeing just to be honest with you it's really freeing to not have so many things and again we get caught up in the rat race we get caught up in the buy 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 purchase 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 knew this knew that and we can't see the bigger picture sometimes that hinders us you know just 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 owning less you know um i just want you today just one item it can be a pair of socks it can be shoes it can be an old picture frame artwork anything just one item i want you to you know really think about what purpose does it serve you you know and i just want you to start small again maybe just set your intention set your intention for this week you know what i'm just gonna go through my closet i'm gonna go through whatever and see what can i donate what can i sell and just start small maybe one to two items you know until you can work your way up and the goal is not to i don't want you to think the goal is to oh he just wants me to get rid of my stuff because no that's not the goal the goal is to live more intentionally and to free up that space to have less clutter because if you look at the modern home it's cluttered everywhere it's a lot of possessions and so the goal is to just start to live intentionally and when you live intentionally you'll start to slowly and naturally get rid of things that no longer serve you and and right now i'm not talking about purely physical possessions i'm talking about mental possessions as well on a deeper level whether that's friends family members or just different things a, a job and just get rid of things it could be certain food habits or certain things in your life that just do not serve you purpose anymore i just encourage you to really ponder on those things uh, contemplation and just if they no longer serve you to get rid of them it's 2022 if they no longer serve you i mean just you have to get rid of them um, and it can be tough for sure but you know again i believe in you and i know you know moving forward you'll you'll set your intentions to live live more intentionally and also aware to be aware of yourself uh, going forward this year so i love you um, thanks again for watching if you made it this far i really appreciate you i really appreciate you guys and all the support you've given me so far it does mean a lot so again mxb signing out love you guys set your intentions uh, live peacefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Say bye, Pablo.